This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. This is an extra times two skin retraction. Invincible to third degree burns. I have to take extra precautions, everybody. This is some high tech shit. Nah, I'm, I'm just playing. Really, this nigga? is from outdoors, so I may die. What it do, Fly Crew? FTC. Fly Team stand up. Back at it again with the sneaker collection once again. Again. Everybody in the damn world has been asking me, bro. I was just like, hey, man, yes, I have been collecting. I told you I collect stuff in the low, and these will be coming at rare times, but I just felt like this was a perfect time to show it since it has been just literally big to stop. So without further ado, I honestly didn't even like, I wasn't feeling them at first. I was just like, eh, like, what the fuck is this? And then some of them I started passing on, and I started really checking out the color, and it kind of, it's like a track. I don't know why, like, you just can throw on like a, a nice little V-neck uh, white seat with these shits if you find the right shirt. Not gonna lie to you, I I catch uh, Cash and I seen his vlog. I don't know if he was, I don't remember if he was in Boston or something like that. And I didn't even know these came out, okay? So there's been a lot of fours and there's gonna be a lot of tens coming out in 2016. And I felt like these were an amazing. I already wore these. I meant to not wear. I wanted to save them for DS, but these are a very nice shoe. They're very clean. It's really not hard to match with these at all. This is honestly, I didn't even have these. I'm not even gonna lie to begin off with when they first released, but I was just like, hey man, when I first see these in, in, in sight, when I'm able to buy them, they're it's like a half size too big. The Maroon 6s is just, it's, it's like a valuable collection. It's just like something that starts off to like any childhood for somebody. These are just, I don't know. It's it's iconic to me. Very nice shot. I've worn these obviously uh, way DS. I've worn these past like 10 times. This is a history behind this shoe. Everything has a meaning to it, man. And this one, the Mike Vick, I have a background story to this, bro. I remember it was in school. It was, I think it was in fifth grade or something like that before I went on to the next grade. Okay, they had like a biggest kickball tournament. Okay, so don't judge me. I know I'm not the only one, but like when we didn't have a shoe and we would let their, our, our friends borrow each other so like we would trade them off for the day like we would go into class and trade shoes and so I wore these like we were playing practice kickball and I kicked the ball over the fence and I was just like yo I have to get these I know they was in store I was like mom I need to get these new shoes for kickball she was gonna give me some new shoes anyway had my mind on these bro right when Vic got indicted with that dog shit bro literally they took everything off the damn shelf everything bro it was so fucked up we ended up losing that kickball game and I was like the beat this tragic thing in elementary school that was just the worst way to just end anything dog and i was so happy when i seen these again bro i don't care what anybody has to say about vic man he's a good person everybody makes mistakes next up we got some bronze i just walked in and i just bought them and it was it was on sale one there for champs not even gonna lie i don't even know what these are called that much either but these are not that bad they, you can wear them for basketball i honestly wear them if i go and work out i haven't worked out in about a month and a half but you know this is something just casual it's nothing really too fancy about the shoe lebron's shoes honestly getting kind of interesting because he's adding a whole bunch of different shit so I, i'm real curious to see if he's gonna be able to keep up with his taste as he gets older and progresses on in the league because that's a big thing you want to keep in mind if i if i mess up on a shoe everybody i had like literally a lot so i'm not gonna you know remember the name help me out down below in the comment section don't be laughing at your boy flight these are a nice shoe there is some beautiful 12s out there uh you cannot everybody has it's, it's that collect sneakers or has shoes bro retros you have to have some type of 12s in your collection and these are the best way to just start out anything had these when i was legit i was like two three years old this is like my second or third retro that i ever had i was like bruh i'm looking around the closet everybody's even telling me this i'm like flight why don't i have phones that was so weird we finally got some bro like i the thing about phones I, it's not that i don't dislike them but it's such an odd shoe damn it like i had a couple of pairs back in the day and it was my right size and then like three weeks later them shits would be so fucking small to me it's like they mold to your feet so you literally got to get a whole size in my opinion bigger than what you normally wear because you see they don't have a lot of tone like this is the only tone room you get in these phones bro like that's with all phones uh do not remember all oh, these are the easy phones yes 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 yeah i remember these were the easy phones you uh, told me that's at the last second but yeah these are not shoot these are real i think they're still on shelves so i'm not mistaken too so really not that hard to get this now i was kind of upset because i didn't really get it at first but now i understand why this right here is an iconic uh thing now the box bro when i got this shit in them i'm just like i gotta carry this shit in the mall that shit is way too fucking live like i don't like drawing attention like that you feel me these these are 90 said these are pearl ones these are the ones that were worn and he got game by jesus shutterworth aka ray allen Bruh. i'm gonna edit that shit out i was so terrible like i really don't know what i did there. anyway man yes i was trying to hold myself and not on um, dsd's dog but it was just like damn dog. 
I just had to step out and look clean. Now, the bottom's not that that bad. You know, they're, they're blue. I don't know how. I'm just going to make sure I store them right because I don't want them to lose that uh, blue icy sole. And then you get these. I don't really, that's, I didn't really want them like that. But you know what I'm saying? I wear, these are casual. You can wear these working out, but you have to get these in the pack. I've been telling y'all this from day one. I do fucks with purple heavy, bro. People always sleep on a Phoenix Suns colors. I seen these for the first time. I was like, I have to get them. I don't care if they're hyped. I don't care if it's not a lot. Everybody has them. I don't care, bro. I want these shit. It's a nice little shoe. I haven't worn these yet. I'm, I'm going to make sure I find a right fit for you because I'm going to be stepping out A1 right up in this bed. Do not sleep on retro tens, y'all. Oh my gosh. Listen, dog. Like, I got these. Uh, shout out to the uh, shop around where I'm at. Yo, he actually uh, had these early. I did have the overpay for them. I like the hypebeast. The hypebeast came out of flight. Oh my gosh. The hypebeast came out of flight. Ooh, I, mean, I, try, I, had, I tried to contain myself. But man, you can never go wrong. What's the first thing your mom or dad tells you when you try and pick out some shoes? Never try to pick out white shoes. These are all black. So any of you guys are like working on a butt. These would be like the best option if you wanted to make these last all school year. Man, I remember all them times I was just like, oh, I only got like two, three shoes to pick out for the entire school year, bro. I got to pick out the darkest color. You can match with anything. These are an amazing, beautiful shoe. I would like the bottom because the shit is so glittery, bro. It's like, it's like, it's like, oh my fucking gosh, dog. Like, you see, the shit is just beautiful, bro. I was surprised I still haven't on DSDs yet, man. These are the reals. This is something with, with the Spain, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Don't know too much about this shoe. Uh, it has the same stuff as it has on the last one, black, just different color. I don't even have nothing to match with them. This is, it's, it's, it's a really nice shoe. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I can't, I can't front on that. Another shoe people tend to sleep on is Retro Nines. I got these for a fucking steal. As soon as I heard the I was like, bro, I have to have them. Told me you only wore them a couple of times, man. I do not remember. I don't know if these are, I don't want to just say the name. You know what I'm saying? But yes, this is a, a fabulous shoe. Olive Nines? Oh, no, no, no. It's not Olive. Oh, that's a fucking huge neck. Holy shit! Damn! Damn, I gotta edit that shit out too. Oh my gosh, bro. But yes, bro. These nines are right here, bro. These really nice shoes. You can obviously match these with a the nice little jeans or whatever. This is the iconic shoe. The shoe I lost my virginity in. Oh yeah! We got my bottles back, bro. I had to overpay for these shit like a high piece. High piece came out of me. I had to thank the guy. These were DS. I obviously un DSD. Way, 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 way quick too late. I man. I should, I should have, should have contained myself. But I kept all the shit in there. Bordo Seven, straight Michael Jackson. R.I.P. Michael Jackson. Bro, when I first seen that little poster of MJ, bro, these shits right here. Honestly, bro, anybody that says these are not a good looking shoe, they don't know what to wear with it, in my opinion. I always tend to see this shoe right here is amazing. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like, this is the, the most, like, original design you can have in any brand shoe, like, out there in this universe, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's amazing. I'm going to take out the shit, too. Like, even the insole, man, it's just so just... Oh my gosh, bro. I don't even know, son. This the, the Bordo 7s, it is definitely my top three favorite shoe in my collection of all time. I don't care what Jordans will ever come out. These right here are my fucking babies right here. I'm about to make y'all hype beast mad. The brands that we lost when they try not to get live challenge. We got them shits back. Yes, it was funny because the dude that actually sold me, he did watch my video. He does watch my video. He's been watching for a long time. And he kind of felt bad. So he hit me up. He was just like, bro, I'm going to sell these to you. But the only flaw that came with them that wasn't in the last ones, they had the ankle creasing a little bit on the side you know what i'm saying you know i didn't overpay you know way way too much you know definitely a great condition definitely had to get them back you know a lot of people were just like like how the fuck can you do i was just like eventually i, I, I tweeted that out. i was just like i'm gonna eventually just buy another bear just everybody calm down like i had to take one like i wasn't gonna whip out if i keep a promise i keep a promise i'm done did it now it's really starting to get hot in here i i i, I apologize if everything is just starting to just just heat up here a second bro Cool Gray 11s. Finally, I got these back in my fucking possessions. I remember I had these. They were too small. My feet started to grow. I made sure this time I even got a half size bigger than what I normally wear. These right here. Uh, the person said he did wear these. You can obviously see. You can see some dirt. It's not in my top three, but it's just a beautiful fucking shoe. Like any retro 11, in my opinion, just kicks any other retro's ass like times 10. Anytime you wear these, you got to make sure your fit is on point and you're going to 
can get any girl you want and I, pro I promise you will get any female you want if your fit is A1 ain't nobody you ain't nobody gonna be touching me I know some of you guys seen some of the Q and A okay because I just say what is on um, my favorite pair of sneakers right now and it is the 72 10 11s oh mm, this shit right here this is these these are my babies right here I fuss with these shoes so heavy these are amazing quality basketball shoe I'm not gonna wear these anytime soon um I, I if I, I do choose to wear them I most likely probably would just get a second pair to just wear but I want to keep these DS as long as possible like especially with the space jams coming out too those are the two shoes that I really just want to have like as a collection save like I move into like a big house in the future that's those as fuck Okay, and you know that's the first thing my guests will see. I want them to see the Space Jams and the 7210s like on some little frame. That's it's like a big possession right there. Now I did talk to you guys. I did get a, a good amount of 12s this year in 2016. We have the Black Yacht 12s. Now if I uh, did say that wrong, I apologize. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm confident. Shout out to the dudes that let me skip them, bro, because like I don't even know how I was able to do it. I was just gonna stay home and get online. I was like, man, why not? I don't think these shoes gonna be that hot, man. I thought wrong, bro. Okay, so like, yes, these shoes are very, 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 very fucking clean. These, these are a beautiful shoe. I did wear these once, but I know if you if you actually look up online, okay? Now, this is one thing you gotta watch out to, because some motherfuckers be lying if they try to sell you shoes. If you want to learn how to refactory lace your shoes, they have tutorials for that online, okay? But like, that's one thing a lot of y'all want to learn a lesson to. Some people be like, oh, these are 100% DS, bro. I'm trying to charge you extra. That's exactly why, bro. Them niggas be lying to you, bro. They just know how to factory you lace them so always make sure you check your shoes before you buy that's just a quick lesson from fly i only gotta keep it 100 now I, <coughs> I'm, 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 I'm feeling sick I, 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 I damn my gloves are starting to metal me like i don't know what this is, is a flu season around or something bro i don't know i don't know yeah i overpaid like crazy not gonna lie Blue Game 12s, you had, these are just beautiful. If you guys do follow me on Instagram too, Flight or Flight 23 Whites, um, I actually did post these. Shout out to the plug around where I'm at again. Uh, yes, he did tax me. You tax me like a bitch. But, hey, I, 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 I'm, I'm the one that gave in. I'm the one that gave him. And, yes, I told you, like, I, these things make me sick. I'm sweating like crazy. I don't know what's going on, bro. But, hey, that is going to cap off the shoe collection, everybody. I just want to thank you guys for 300K. Um, we did touch that about a couple of days ago. I did say that I will be returning to live streaming on Twitch if you guys have been with me for a minute. Probably start off doing it two or three times a week at most. But, yes, be sure to hit me up on there. The same thing. Flight, flight, 23, right? For all these social media sites, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch, you know where to find me. Nigga be snitching on